Detron did this. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and this is my family, and we do stuff. And today, we're going on an adventure to Costco. So we'll show you guys some of what we pick up on our normal trip here to Costco, uh, and then a couple of items that you guys should probably buy in bulk from somewhere like either Costco or Sam's. So let's get to it. So when it's time to go grocery shopping, we usually go to two different places, HEB and Costco. And my Costco trip, always starts the same way. It always starts with some kind of interlude for my son. Daddy Shark is not a good guy. No, he's not a good guy. He's a good bad guy. He's a bad guy. So we usually start on the same side at Costco and work our way all the way back around until we get to the checkout. Now, we buy all of our fruit from Costco because we want to get it in bulk. If you look in the grocery stores, a lot of your budget is going to go toward fresh fruits. So we want to get more for the money that we spend on our fruit. Uh, Costco is a great way to do that. So this is where we concentrate most of our initial energy once we get in the store. Yes, son. What is that? That's a Caribbean red papaya. Papaya, what letter does papaya start with? Not sure, a P. I don't know, I didn't name it. All right, sit down for me. All right, so check out these strawberries. Now these are the organic strawberries. They're $9.99. If you go over here, these are $3.69. Now, they're not organic, sure, but you get more strawberries. And I'll be honest with you, I don't need mine to be organic. What is that called? Yeah. It's called mango. Mango? Yep, mango. What does mango start with? Are you sure? M, m, m. M. M, there you go. What is it? Mmm. Mm. Not ma. Oh, okay. Ma. Mango is what you're telling me. You said what does it start with and you gave me the sound. Mm. Oh, I guess you're right. I was sounding out correctly. And here's my wife giving me a phonics lesson. Mmm. Any what? Fruit puree. Bread. Okay. Now we didn't get protein powder on this trip, but Costco is a great place to go and get your protein powder. You get large packages of it, and it's comparable, if not better, to what you might see in other locations. But again, you get more. Yep. Look at those flowers. Yeah, I like pink flowers. You like what? I want red flowers. We seen this bag of. French fries. This is an eight pound bag of French fries. My kids eat French fries with their grilled cheeses, with their hot dogs. They eat French fries sometimes with their pizza. Don't judge us. But still, an eight pound bag for nearly $10, you definitely won't get something comparable to that when you're in the regular grocery store. Yeah. These waffles, my kids alternate these in the mornings for their breakfast. 72 count for only 1150. Looking Man. at the, uh, I mean, these three pizzas, things right there. Certainly a great pickup. You can pop them in the air fryer. They're really easy for lunches, uh, and the kids really like them. I mean, as an adult, I like them too. The organic. What is it? Apple, carrot, beets, ginger, flaxseed and then apple, banana, kale, hemp seed. We decided not to get these because my kids don't like their yogurts cold. One thing we did take advantage of is this 60 count string cheese. My kids will eat this with lunch, sometimes with dinner, they'll eat it as a snack. Heck, they've even eaten it for breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, this 52 pack of instant oatmeal, man, between waffles yes, and this instant oatmeal, I got a quick, easy breakfast. For Butterflies the working? Hey, look, it's working. Oh, wow. Look, look that. I see it. It's working. It's flying. Hey, look. Now, my sons really love these veggie and fruit packs. We get more of these than the yogurt that we put back earlier, and it's it's a, a hit with my kids because they like their oh, sauces warm, sauce. which I don't understand. <laughs> Now these bare apple chips are freaking delicious. The problem is they're expensive, like $11.50. So we got them this time, but I could probably learn to dehydrate my own apples, honestly. Now check out this cereal. Uh, this cereal is made out of oats and nuts, and it is a great alternative to those sugary cereals that you get in the morning that most people eat. 
we didn't buy it this time, but next time I'm definitely gonna try this because it sounds like a great option or alternative when it's time to get breakfast cereal. This hot honey, definitely a winner. My family likes it, so I had to make sure to pick up some extra of this. Now this is some delicious maple syrup. I didn't end up getting it this time because we already have some at home, but if you can see, this thing is almost $17, but you get 25 ounces. At HEB, we would pay 10 to $12 for just 12 ounces. So this is a great deal here at Costco. Okay. Um, but I think we have that at the house right now, right? Yeah. Peanuts? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We got pistachios and I know we got almonds. Okay. This is right around the time that we start looking up and down aisles to see if there's really anything else that we left off of our list or things that we want to try for the first time in bulk. Now, our budget is usually about $225 every two weeks, depending on what we need. Of course, when we buy a large box of goldfish, we won't need goldfish every week. So it really just depends, but we shoot for $225 between the two stores. Again, this aisle, we usually pick up snacks like macaroni and cheese or the goldfish uh, because they're easy for our toddler whenever we need to put together something quick before school, after school, or for lunch. Ketchup in my house goes pretty quickly, so it might seem like a lot of money to spend on three containers of ketchup, but the kids eat it with everything. Their hot dogs, their french fries, their chicken nuggets, the basically everything they consume. Now these organic smoothie packs are great. There's five different packs inside and while it costs about $12, um, you can make five different smoothies and you can alter them the way that you like. If you were going to a store or going to a drive through and buying smoothies, you're probably gonna pay five goldfish. or $6 per smoothie. Again, like I mentioned, gotta have goldfish. These are like a must have in my house. Goldfish, where are you gonna put those? You got it? All right, put it somewhere. Next were my fruit snacks. About 12 bucks, but you get uh, a lot in this box. There's 90 packets in here, and they're the small packs, so we can drop them in my son's lunchbox if necessary. Uh, these are more adults uh, focus. That's it bars only have two ingredients in them. They make great snacking. Uh, they are a bit high in sugar, but I mean, it is what it is. And that's it guys, that's pretty much what we do. Um, we did pick up some salad. Quick tip, if you've got salad, put a napkin inside of the bottom and the inside on the top, it'll definitely keep your salad fresher for longer. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. As always, like, share, and subscribe, hit the notification button, and uh, come back for our next video. Peace.